Hello again everybody and welcome back to Castlevania 2. Now before I get started with the next video I wanted to bring up this uh, very annoying glitch that can happen when you're dealing with these uh, waving blocks. It actually conserves it to a solid piece of land you'll land on sometimes and well this happens. Seriously, uh, it, if you want to get across the uh, moving blocks without really much of a problem, just die three times and start from the beginning. Seriously, it's going to be, it's probably going to be a lot faster than trying to deal with, uh, well, uh, that. That being said, uh, I, I, I think I spent enough time uh, telling you about this glitch, which yes, it can happen on uh, any waving blog, series of waving blogs, which is very annoying, and it can happen on both the cartridge and the, uh, and the ROM, so be careful about that. Alright, now then, that being said, I really don't like this next part as there's some of the moving blocks on it. Anyway, I would highly suggest having at least two Orals, and well, uh, for an item check, you need the Red, the Heart, the Eye, and the Red Crystal, especially the Red Crystal. We're going to be getting to that soon enough. Anyway, just uh, jump across all that water and go to the left. Everything here will take uh, two, two hits with your chain whip if you don't already have it. Have the morning star. Now let's see here. You need to equip the red crystal and set that at this corner. Not sure how you equip them all that, but whatever. Anyway, uh, pretty much every. Uh, Enemy is going to take at least two hits if you're using the chain whip, which can be a bit of a problem if you're using it. Of course, I think you actually need the Morning Star to actually get the uh, best whip in the game. I'm not quite sure if you actually need the uh, best whip in the game. Yeah, I, I think I'll just go through here and. Uh, deal with where exactly the uh, person you buy the stake is from next. Anyway, just destroy these blocks and jump across. Well, it shouldn't be too much of a problem by now. Let's see here, 26 hearts. Now you're probably not going to get too much experience. Main, main reason being because you're probably going to be uh, very high level. There's the stake salesman. We'll get to him uh, in a few moments. Well, minutes. Anyway, I uh, just found go and get the orb. Now then, uh, the main reason why I skipped getting the, uh, the, the stake salesman is because, well, I already have a stake and uh, I might as well buy it from this part, that, this part of the game since, uh, well, it takes a little while to get up there. So I may as well use that, uh, before I actually went there. Which honestly, I think it's a bit easier to figure out where exactly uh, one of them is uh, in the next level, but uh, just in case you don't have a stake, I'll go through uh, how to get on it in uh, this level. Now well, let's see here, make sure you re-equip your sub-weapon after dealing with the stake. A 
again, the ch the stairs can be pretty helpful. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, there's a fall spot here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Uh, don't bother going left. I'm pretty sure those boulders fall on you. I don't think there's any more fall spots here. But, uh, jump, jump up at the corner and you can go through the wall. Yeah, almost uh, impossible not to get hit there. Yeah, well. Anyway, I uh, just equip your holy wire and destroy the block. Jump over these uh, spikes and keep going to the right. Deal with a spear man while you're here. And uh, you can jump through the wall right here. There's no fall spots on the first part, but uh, after you meet him, you can fall down. So. Make sure you buy the steak and like you're dead, yep, and 22 hearts. Okay, well, not doing too bad. Again, I would highly suggest saving your worlds for later because you're going to have to go through uh, a great big... Uh, marsh area which can take your health down very quickly alright go to the left And equip your red crystal and sit by the water again. And eventually you can go down. And uh, yes, this place we're coming up to is that uh, place where that glitch I showed you happened. But again, it can happen on uh, any set of waving blocks. That being said, be very careful. And yes, I know the game sort of lagging out. I apologize for that and that whole I can do about it. Anyway, with the morning star, uh, you talk to this guy and he gives you the fire whip, which is twice as powerful as the morning star, but again, uh, you better still double hit things. Usually if you jump right at the highest point of the bobbing block, that isn't really much of a problem to get through, but I would highly suggest avoiding them all together if possible. Ah, oh, yeah, that spot. Make sure you kill that thing and kill another one of them. And I don't know if you can actually. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Apparently you can. Okay, use a knife on that guy if you got one. And watch out because those uh, fireballs that falls out sort of uh, keep going among the uh, platform. They can go down, but not up. Again, anything on screen will still have the amount of health uh, during the last transition. That being said, uh, be very careful. It's 
Should be another fireman. Yep. Hey, right Yeah, the, the golden knife is pretty useful for things like that. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Have your world ready and jump in. I would highly suggest jumping before using each world. Should, should deal with damage. As I said, at least two worlds. Preferably more if possible, but uh, Anyway, uh, the main reason why I wanted to get the silk sack in the last episode, well, is because of this guy that you're gonna meet on this level, which I'm pretty sure there's no uh, No spot that you can actually fall through the wall, so... I don't remember if there's a fall spot somewhere here or not. Well, according to the skeletons, there aren't. Again, skeletons sort of stop at uh, false spots and turn back. So they can be a pretty good indicator on whether or not they're there. Boy, that was close. Okay, now head down and meet this guy. He gives you pearls for free, and he gives you all you can carry. Which is a uh, very good thing, seeing as uh, everything in this game tries to kill you. Well, pretty much everything except for the villagers. Ah, yes, this thing. I I would highly suggest using a whirl if you see it starting to cry. Or made two of them. This really shouldn't take too long with the uh, dagger knife. Okay, make sure you kill that thing and get this. Uh, Magic Cross. And I know it respawns, uh, but again, you don't get anything for getting an extra cross. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I believe that's where... Uh, Again, I would I would suggest using Oral. I mean, uh, that boss isn't really that difficult, but it can deal quite a bit of damage. And th this guy actually gives you a refill, so uh, be, be sure to get as many as possible before heading back. So I should have seven now. Because worlds are very useful, especially when avoiding those uh, things right next to fall spots. Make sure to double head these spiders, because seriously, they, they got health. Lots of it. Okay. Not to mention their uh, projectiles sort of follow you. That's a bit of an annoyance. Now let's see here, 108 experience. I might actually get a level up before uh, too long. Anyway, to get to the steak man in uh, this one, and by the way, you really don't need any steaks after uh, you deal with this level. 
because as far as I know, I mean, I, I've had Dracula with a uh, steak, but it, it doesn't actually seem to have any effect, so I guess there's really no point in getting one, but I may as well. Eh, let's see here, 120. Yep, that's where the stick salesman is for this level. A bit easier to get to than the uh, last one, but... Just in case you forget it in the last level, I guess. I shouldn't be too much longer for a level up. Anyway, I should explain that uh, if you do forget an item, like the heart or the eyeball or a rib, just, just go left. Left of this area because uh, it takes you back to the graveyard where you get the silver dagger that I got in the first episode. However, there isn't actually any way to uh, get back after going back to that, so uh, be very careful if you're flying going through it. Okay. Okay, yeah, the oh, knife probably would be there. Okay. Now then, the main difficulty here is the simple fact that guy likes to spawn. I mean, the skulls uh, falling yeah, are tolerable, but... Uh, just as long as the firemen aren't on screen, they shouldn't be much of a problem. Okay, 176. Again, make sure you double hit things. Because seriously, uh, falling in this spot can be a bit of a pain since these uh, skull things constantly bug you. Or you could just fall down there and uh, Try your luck with the bobbing blocks, which may be a bit easier depending on whether or not that glitch wants to uh, activate. Yeah, 185. Okay, climb up the stairs and go to the right. I haven't actually died any yet, have I? I don't think I did, have I? Okay, the morning sun. Okay, well... We are almost done with this game, I believe. Didn't take more than five minutes to uh, actually beat it. If I remember right. Oh yeah, that's right, these stupid things. Uh, those plants spit fireballs, and these hawkmen try swooping down at you if you give them the chance. Ah yes, the ever infamous uh, Medusa heads. Uh, like the eyeballs, they sort of stay on. 
It's going to be anticlimactic if I, I, I die because of those uh, water canals. Hey, a church. Hey, that, that's good. Now then, the uh, last boss, he isn't really too difficult. It, I mean, he can deal quite a bit of damage. Uh, I mean, a lot of damage if you give him the chance, but really, uh, once you hit him once and you can't actually fight back, well, it isn't much of a problem. Again, make sure the fishmen are dead before proceeding. Oh boy, yeah, no, no, I, yeah, I better equip the rev. I forgot they fired that fast. Okay, well, there we go. As you can see, this guy is constantly firing. I, I was holding down when uh, I jumped up on that next one, if anyone was wondering about that. Why it reflected while I, it looked like I was standing up. Uh, let's see here, I believe it was down you're supposed to go, actually. To the right, uh, I, I think it's just a great big marsh that left a whole bunch of empty space up above. Now then, this is the last town you run into, and really, uh, there's like Maybe two people. I, I actually, I think one of the buildings might be abandoned. But that, anyway, uh, let's kill everything you can, and I guess there was 250 for the next level up. Yeah, these these hawks are really annoying. Hey, here we go. As I said, you get more health every time you level up. Well, every other time. Every time you level up, your defense increases. Okay, so you sort of... Uh, you've gone to the right, and... Actually, the fight with Dracula is uh, pretty anticlimactic, if you ask me. I, I mean, seriously, you, uh, you expect uh, a whole bunch of skeletons or fishmen or spearmen or something, but uh, really, it's just, uh, it's just a boring walk to uh, where he is. I, I will say the music's good, though. Anyway, get to use the uh, holy water to destroy the uh, blocks. Also, those uh, first two blocks I destroyed out front before I, I said uh, the boring walk. Uh, you can't destroy them unless you have the magic cross. That being said, uh, make sure you get you will need it from the uh, mask thing. Okay, I would always suggest having the Oros, because again, he can deal a lot of damage if you give him the chance. Of course, uh, he's probably not going to get uh, too much of a chance, but uh, uh, what, if he starts moving around the screen, it, it gets really uh, deadly really fast. 
Okay, now just heard about you use the gold knife or sacred flame or whatever you want to use as soon as he appears. And, and, and seriously, that's it. Uh, end of the game. Uh, that's just it. This, but uh, you see Dracula's hand come out of the grave. Ain't, ain't that, uh, uh, well, ominous. Okay, apparently they don't actually have any credits to this game, which I will say was a bit of a shock when I uh, first beat it, but uh, what, whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this uh, episode here. I hope everyone enjoyed this game. That being said, I hope everyone has a good day.